Heavyweight contest is scheduled for one fall. With a 20 minute time limit, it is for the New South Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Athens, Alabama, Unkillable. And his opponent, she is the Haas 2022 winner and the New South Heavyweight Champion from Somerville, Tennessee, main event here on Action Clash and we are joined by the number one contender himself, Beaver Boy Hunter Drake. Oh yeah, what's up Carmen, what's up Beast Monkey? Big I know main event you, here tonight. I know you've got your eye on this one very well. Two people you're very familiar with. Oh yes sir, my lady and my best friend, one on one New South World Champion. I'll face the winner at anniversary, August 6th. August 6th, Parts on Alabama. It's the place to be. Make sure you get your tickets now. As Kenzie fires away on graded tune. Absolutely, as New South celebrates their seventh anniversary. I guess the question tonight is, Hunter Drake, are you out here to support Kenzie Page or are you doing a little homework of your own? Hey, you know, whoever walks out of this one champion, that's what my eyes are on. So, whether it be Kenzie, whether it be Brayden, whoever wins this match and walks out of Florence, Alabama, New South World Champion, that's who my eyes are on the most. Eyes on the prize. Grease Monkey loves to hear it. Yes, baby. Oh! Right and sent to the outside. Kenzie with a full head of steam. Oh. Don't make so much even caught. Tune. Tune definitely with the power advantage, but Kenzie fights out of it. Bounces Braden Tune off the ring apron. Kenzie, so full of fight, so full of heart. Kenzie is one of the fightingest champions we've ever had. Oh, wow. Braden Tune just laying those big forearms in. And how impressive is it that two of oh, oh, oh. two of our youngest on the roster have made such an impression this year. Of course, both making their way to the finals of the Boss Tournament. With Kenzie ultimately winning, going on to win that New South Heavyweight Championship. But now, Braden Toon in the biggest match of his life. Chris Monkey was about to say, Kenzie's, Kenzie's head made an impression on that ring post. Braden has nasty things in store here. And Kenzie being launched the crowd. No, she popped the brakes. Kenzie a little too smart for him. Only a two. 
Rock. And Hunter, you mentioned being focused on whoever comes out of this match as champion. It's two people that you know very well, regardless of who they are. Oh, yeah. Grease Monkey, I'll tell you. I'm excited for anniversary, whoever walks out of this one champion, because these are my two best friends in the world. Of course I'm ready to go to war with them. Absolutely. The crowd's ready for tables. <laughs> Indeed. The crowd is calling for tables. Apparently, they haven't had enough of this action. This crowd has come alive here at the Singing River Brewery. Well, it's hard not to get excited when either Braden Toon or Kenzie Page is in the ring. If you get both of them in there, you have a formula for just absolute insanity. You got that right, Grease Monkey. Kenzie is rocked on her feet by those heavy blows from Braden Toon. Be out on her feet. Yeah. Oh. Toon could be new champ here. Right. We get to have a Toon. new champion, folks. Oh. Oh. Two. Only a two. Carmen, would Braden Toon be the youngest competitor to hold human gold if he wins tonight? Absolutely not. Of course, the current record holder for that. You're looking at it right now. Kenzie Page. Indeed. Kenzie's 20. Braden's 19. Brayden could take that record from her tonight. It's impossible not to make history at New South, especially when Humongold is on the line. How impressive is it that we are looking at the next generation of independent professional oh. wrestling? I know. Oh. I have no doubt whatsoever these two will be will go down as the greats. Oh, here's a big avalanche into Brayden too. Santon Cannonball. Oh, Braden grabs the ropes. Despite his youth, Braden is a ring general. He saw his opportunity to use the ropes to get out of that pin. Great wherewithal there from Braden too, knowing exactly where he is at all times. You mentioned the next generation, Carmen. We have a second generation competitor in Braden too. Now Kenzie trying to get a little bit of her breath back here, create some space. No mistake about it though, Kenzie comes from a wrestling family herself. Indeed. Oh, going for that Kenzie cutter early. Tons of pedigree in the ring right now. Oh! The prestige of our champion cannot be understated, but right now, Braden Toon is in control. Over! All of that weight crashing on the neck. Uh oh! oh! Kenzie with a super kick midair as Kylie on the outside cheers on her older sister. Toon's unpredictable athleticism came back to bite him that time as Kenzie was able to take advantage of him being caught in midair. Whoa, 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 what's going on over here, Carmen? Why is Tyler Franks out here, Carmen? Why is Tyler Franks out here, Carmen? Not even in the match. Tyler Franks has decided to join us here. What the hell is Franks doing? Franks, what are you doing, man? Franks, seeming like he, what are you doing? Seeming like he has a little business out here. What are you doing? What is he doing out here, Carmen? Maybe doing the same thing you're doing, Hunter. Invested in whoever comes out on top of this match. Yeah, but Franks isn't guaranteed a new South World title match. Franks needs to keep his nose in his own business. If Tyler Franks has made it, made it a point to make most everything his business these days. He is all business. Got that right. But right now, the business in the ring is between Toon and Kenzie. Yes, sir. I don't think there's anybody in the world that knows these three better than you, Hunter Drake. Ooh, that's right, that's right. You know, I grew up with Tyler Franks, and I'll tell you, he is slimy. I don't know what he's doing out here, but you need to keep an eye on him. Indeed. We've got a lot of devious characters running around in New South. We'll see how it affects what's going on right now in the ring. Ooh. The New South faithful are firmly behind their champion. Listen to that. Crowd. 
crowd favorites are battling it out for the biggest prize oh, in Southern oh Wrestling. By the narrowest of margins, Braden June found a way to power out. Kinsey had that pin locked in, but Braden Toon was able to piston his way out of it. You know, Braden Toon's my tag team partner, my best friend. Braden Toon is a fighter. Indeed. Braden Toon has been through thick and thin, and he fights day by day. Grease Monkey and Carmen have watched you and Braden Toon both go through some absolutely hellacious wars. But speaking of going the distance, Kenzie Page is one of the few competitors who has gone nearly an hour in the ring, constantly fighting. But to your point, Grease Monkey, think of all that we have seen Braden Toon go through. We watched this man have a concussion hitting head first and outside on the pad at the furniture factory in Huntsville. We saw him hit head oh. first to the wall by Donnie Proudtom. We thought that was the end of his career, but there's a reason they call him unkillable Braden Toon. That's right, you can't kill Braden Toon. I know that first hand. I know Braden Toon like the back of my hand, and it's gonna take a lot more from Kinsey to keep him down. It's gonna take a lot for either competitor or oh, Braden. Big stomp. Toon absolutely earning his appellation through these years of competing at New South. And now, earning this chance to hold Humongo, but he's oh, 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 Kinsey Page. Oh my God! But his hand certainly oh, went through that ring post just then. Did you hear that? Grease Monkey, that might be broke. That might be broke. The post or Braden Toon's hand? Oh no, both, both. He chopped through the post. Oh, oh my God! Ten minutes run by. Ten minutes remain. Now bouncing Braden Toon's head off of the stage here. Kenzie is absolutely merciless. Oh, they're fighting on the stage, Grease Monkey. Kenzie and Toon are fighting on the stage. Oh, it's a dangerous position right now, Hunter. What does Kenzie have in mind? Toon's fighting off. Uh oh Like I said, it's going to take a lot more from Kenzie to keep Toon down. Kenzie absolutely throwing herself at Braden Toon. And that's one thing about Kenzie, she does not care to put her life on the line, just like Braden Toon. Well, we have seen Kenzie nearly kill herself to pick up a victory, but that might not be a wise decision. Fighting that way against Braden Toon, he is every bit as reckless. This crowd's hot for both, regardless, Grease Monkey. Oh, we are absolutely in a divided house tonight. Stop, stop. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Are you good? Ref's checking on. Kinsey's elbow. Uh-oh. Oh, she's, she's continuing. Oh. And she goes right back on Brady. Okay, Kinsey's probably the hardest hitter on the New South roster. Oh, absolutely. Pound for pound, there's hardly anyone who just strikes as hard as Kenzie can. We've seen her light up twice her size. The tune's taking out both legs right now. Smart strategy. And Frank's just lurking as Toon is no trying to keep Kenzie grounded. Of Tyler Franks right now. The shadow of all business, Tyler Franks catching this incredible Brayden title match. Oh. Braden Toon just about became the youngest New South champion in history at the age of 19. A whisper of air was all that stood between Braden Toon and Humongo. McKenzie is not going to give up like that. These New South faithfuls keeping Kenzie's fight, keeping Kenzie's heart going. She knocks Braden silly. The crowd is an inexhaustible source of energy. They will push the New South competitors to limits they didn't even know they had. Oh, oh Toon! German from Toon! Folding Kinsey in half! Oh! Sick kick from Toon! Oh, but see, that's why Kinsey's smart. She rolled out of the ring. You see that grease monkey? That's why she's champ. She's smart. Kinsey oh. is an intelligent and fearless fighter. Toon, Toon is bringing the strength and athleticism 
Kinsey bringing the craftiness and the determination. It's a, getting a momentary breather. Indeed, it is truly a case of the unstoppable force meeting the immovable object here tonight. Ain't that the truth, Freeze Monkey? But something has to give eventually. Only one can hold you, Mungo. Two in the cover. Oh, only a two. Two and almost walked in anniversary of world champ. Timekeeping is having a heart attack with all these near falls. Fuck you! Tune back to his feet, wondering what he's gonna have to do, what he's got what limit is he gonna have to break? Referee Jesse Fields checking on our champion. Kenzie's not stopping. I know Kenzie better than anybody. She's not gonna give up. She's going to retain this title or die trying. Or die trying is right. We have seen Kenzie fight through some debilitating injuries. As much as she's willing to die trying, Tune is just unkillable. With a big NZ. Champion Kenzie. Oh! Unkillable, but can he be choked out? Yo, Tune was going for that dirty pretty, and Kenzie caught him in her sleeper. Kenzie, the crafty champion, trying to choke the life out of Brayden Tune. Tune can pass out, folks. She put talent, she put talent like Marcus Dillon and Donnie Primetime away with this move. That's right, Hunter. Brayden's just showing signs of life. Kenzie is absolutely relentless, but Brayden oh, Tune just won't go down. Tune is running on fumes now. 15 minutes gone by, five minutes remaining. At the five limit mark, two might be fading. That's one. Five, five uh -oh. minutes left. Can Brayden Tune hold two. on? That's two, Carmen. It only takes one more. Kenzie's going to anniversary. One more, Kenzie yeah. retains. Oh. Oh. oh! No. Once again, unkillable Brayden Tune cheats death. It's the woman who doesn't fear death against oh. the man that death won't touch. The strength proving to be too much from Brayden Toon. Toon, one of the first people on the roster to break that hold from Kenzie. Just incredible. Toon charges in. It's a boot. The roof has done near come off this place. Hey, she got it back in. Kenzie. Unrelenting. Toon had the rope. Toon trying to keep Kenzie from getting that leverage again. Uh-oh. The Kenzie Page half of the crowd is chin tap. Toon is in a bad way. Kenzie has all oh, the right leverage right in this right position. Right over. Toon had a pin for a second. But she's got that choke right back in. Grease Monkey, I don't know if Toon's breaking this one. I don't Kenzie know. Kenzie might be going to anniversary as champ. It might be me and Kenzie in the main event. Tune again! He's back on his feet though. How the oh, this floor darted into the corner? Oh my Tune God. digs deep and finds a little gas left in the tank. Sends Kenzie Page absolutely bouncing off the turnbuckle. But how much can either of them have left? Referee Jesse Field starting the count. The first true lull in the action right now. It has just been non-stop, full throttle since the bell rang. Which one will find their way to their feet first? The advantage That's will six. be to whoever has the cognition left. And I'm gonna ask, what happens at anniversary if neither of these competitors can make it to their feet? That's a great question, Hunter. Hopefully that's a question we won't have to answer. It doesn't look like it, Grease Monkey. Two, he won't die, They're but neither will Kenzie. Deciding to have a good old fashioned slug out in the middle of the ring. I heard that one. Close oh. back and Banging away they go, like Holyfield and Tyson. Oh my God. Kenzie. The Fighting up. back with that slap. The audible impact, Carmen. Oh, oh. Toon chopped through her chest. Woo. And 
Hunter, with your familiarity, with how well you know both these competitors, how much do you feel every impact? Do you feel every near fall? Every single one, Grease Monkey. Every single one. And Kenzie's fall. This just turned into a hockey fight, folks. Oh, Brayden catches the boot. Dude. Oh. oh. It's the dirty pretty, but that, folks, that could have been it. But too much has been taken out of the both oh, competitors they can't here. Make the, they can't make the cover. Tune just doesn't have the strength left to capitalize on that dirty pretty that came out of nowhere. The crowd is on their feet. They cannot believe the intensity of this match. Grease Monkey, I'm on my feet, brother. I, I don't, I don't know who I'm facing that anniversary. It's All I know is my hairs on my arm standing up right now. It is impossible not to be invested in an incredible match like this with so much on the line. We are 60 seconds we going. down to the final stretch. 60 seconds remain in this championship match. We're on the final straightaway. They are bumper to bumper and neither of them seems to be able to pull ahead. Kenzie with a big knee. Feet now. Tune. This, Tune is trying to keep her down, Grease Monkey. Could this be another case of Kinsey going the distance again? Oh, back oh, on the shoulder. Oh, oh my God! Into the turbo, Brayden. Brayden has to stay on top. He was almost on the pin, but Kenzie's feet was on the ropes. The seconds are Brayden. ticking away. Time is ticking now. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Tune's going for the Five, cover! Unbelievable! Tune got the cover, but. It looked... hey, ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired. And therefore, still, your new South Heavyweight Champion, Kinsey Page! Tune was going for the cover, but. The clock just ran out. I don't know, Grease Monkey. I don't know, Carmen. I, I think Toon, if he had five more seconds, it could be me and Toon in the main event of the anniversary right now. on his way. Uh oh. The crowd not satisfied with this man. The crowd not satisfied with this They want five more. I want five more. You want five more, Grease Monkey? Oh, Grease Monkey could go five more minutes. And our competitors, Kenzie, uh -oh. Kenzie looking like she can go for another five minutes. I know Great. Toon can. He almost, five more minutes, Toon could be champ. We're going for five more minutes, folks. If they make it to their feet. The referee, they're, they're both up. up. And the match is back on. And Great. neither competitor can even stand at this moment. The crowd wants these two to fight forever, Carmen. Kenzie Page. I'm right there with him, Hunter. Kenzie Page has an opportunity to maintain her momentum going in to her title defense at anniversary. Braden Toon has an opportunity to make his own history here tonight. This crowd's hotter than ever, Grease Monkey. I'm on the edge of my seat, but there. Tyler Frank's still lurking. Oh, Tyler Frank's the shadow has loomed over this match from the very start. The strength of Braden Toon proving to be too much. Braden Toon, just a little more mass, a little more gas left to carry. Oh, but Kenzie still fights back. She's fighting without heart, both of them are. Kenzie is being driven by pure spite at this point. It is just nothing but belligerence keeping that woman on her feet. Braden skull. Kenzie. Braden's just firing away. Poor Braden can't take too many more shots in the head like that. Oh! oh! Discus forearm from the gym! Could that be enough for Kenzie to firmly win this match and retain? Kenzie's people are behind her, it could be. The dueling, the du the dueling chants are lifting the roof off the building. It's a 50-50 split, folks. Kenzie's getting Brayden up. Kenzie might be looking to end it, Carmen. Kenzie, 
This match is gonna go down as an all-time classic in New South. What does she have in mind? Whatever she has. grabbed the rope. He's smart. Whatever she has, she's gonna have to fight the dead weight of Brayden Toon. She's chopping that tree. Oh, Toon! Back on the shoulders! Death Valley in the corner again. Kinsey is absolutely vicious. She is not going to give up her championship that and easy. Kinsey going back to Cloud Driver. Oh! Dude! Kicked her right in the skull. The move that won her the New South Championship and Braden Toon wisely fighting out of that one because it would have been lights out, folks. Couldn't let her get away with it. And now driving his elbow into Kinsey in the corner. Toon trying to use that momentum, but he's hurt. Toon's hurt. Hunter. Hunter, if this match goes on any longer, Grease Monkey doesn't think there's going to be any left to face you. <laughs> I don't either, but hey, I mean, I'm not complaining. New South World Champion, baby! Whether an inch or a mile, a win is a win, but right now, we have to make... We have to have a decisive victor here tonight. Yeah, but... We've got to be Toon's the only one on his feet. We've got to be approaching that five minute mark, folks. Well, we're getting win. there. We're getting there. Got to be. Kinsey has already proven that she can go the distance, and now Braden Toon is in that rarefied Toon. air Braden. as well. What does Braden have in mind? Speaking of rarefied air. Kinsey Cutter, could that be enough to finally put Braden Toon away? She can't get to the cover. Can't make it over. They're both so beat. Kinsey can't make it to the cover. Okay. Both competitors have so much heart. They keep finding these bursts of energy, but afterwards they're so spent they just can't make, take one advantage. Gone by, one minute remains. And one minute again. Again, we are down to the last 60 with these two. These two are taking each other to the absolute physical limit. Once again, we are seeing an example of what Humongo does to people. What that New South title would force people to do. Braden with a burst of energy. This is his moment! Can so, he take advantage? Somehow Braden is on his feet and trying to mount some offense. Oh no, going for the package pile driver! Oh! Steps up Ten, off the road. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, no. three, two on the cover! Two, one. That's a two! That's a two! That's a two! Is a two. Is the time! Two! The time got two to set the time! The time limit expired! Why is Tyler Franks clapping? He's still here! The time, the time got two again, Grease Monkey! You've heard of being saved by the bell, but this time, Grease Monkey, this time, Braden Toon was cursed by the bell. Yes, yes. Get the fuck over here! I don't know, I'm here in five more minutes. Look, I gave you five minutes. I don't give do a fuck! You give me five more left. fucking minutes! No, goddammit! it! There can't be anything, there can't be anything left. left in either of these competitors to go another five minutes. Jesse's hand was on the way down as the time limit expired. With him. I think they want five more minutes. Is, is, is Jesse gonna allow this? I don't know, two looks like he's getting up. The crowd wants it. Five bleeping minutes, they're saying. Can, can Jesse responsibly allow this? Frank's still out here looking on, but has yet to do anything. We are down. He's just studying. Toon is on his feet. Toon's up. Can Kenzie get up? Our final five-minute window. Can Kenzie do it? 
to fight forever. Both Can't competitors leaving everything in the ring. Two going for that handshake, Carmen. Oh, oh it's like a kitty. Just yeah. white legs on the side of the head of Braden Toon. Lord, when they put Braden Toon and Kenzie Page together, they forgot to put in the quit. Oh, Kenzie, Kenzie maintaining wrist control throughout. Kenzie driving all of her weight into those strikes. Kenzie might be the veteran here, but Braden's just got that size. Braden has, Braden has his bloodline to draw on, his in, fighting instincts. Kenzie has her just absolute determination. And now they are just banging away. Rough kill each other. Two of the most tenacious competitors in all of independent wrestling. Kenzie's on him. Kenzie! Down blows. A championship reign may end. A life may oh, end. Ducks. We don't know what's going to happen. Oh, I taught him that. Spinning back fist. Toon lays that blow in. Can Braden stay on top though? Oh. Not if Kenzie has anything to say about it, but here comes Toon again. They're trading. Fuck you. Oh. Going tip for attack. Both competitors know each other so well. What in the hell? is keeping these two people on their feet, Carmen. These two athletes go to work. KJ Roster, KJ Roster, KJ Frank grabbed Toon's foot. You're right. He 